a fat woman being towed by a pickup truck is no laughing matter. A Kansas City pastor is feeling the wrath of social media after posting this video to Facebook. The footage shows an obese woman in a wheelchair being towed by a pickup truck, which Pastor Lamont Rushing thought was something you'd see only in Kansas City. Do y'all see this right here? The video was shared more than 11,000 times over the weekend, but now Pastor Rushing is feeling the heat after many failed to see the funny side. The whole saga began on Saturday when disabled woman Becky Cottrell's power wheelchair ran out of juice on the freezing cold streets of Kansas City. Luckily for Becky, a good Samaritan in a pickup truck stopped and kindly offered to tow her home. That's where Pastor Rushing comes in. The flabbergasted man of God thought he was seeing a miracle and began filming on his cell phone. Becky doesn't have Facebook, but found out she was a viral sensation when her son saw the video and passed on the good news. Becky told a local TV station that instead of filming her, the pastor could have asked if she needed any help. Temperatures dropped to as low as 7 degrees in Kansas City that day, and Becky just needed to find some shelter from the cold. After all, wouldn't offering to help have been the Christian thing to do? Interviewed on local TV, Pastor Rushing said he never intended to hurt Becky's feelings. The preacher man defended himself, saying he'd just never seen anything like it before. However, after reading some ungodly comments about Becky online, the pastor said he understood why people were so upset with him. He apologized for filming the video and later removed it from Facebook. Here's some more cases of people being insensitive to overweight people. Santa tells boy to lay off burgers and french fries. A mother in Forest City, North Carolina said her son cried all day long after he was fat shamed by Santa Claus. Ashley Mays thought it would be fun to take her kids ice skating and to see Santa at the local Santa house over the weekend. Her nine-year-old son Anthony sure was happy to see Santa, but Ashley noticed that the not-so-jolly Saint Nick looked like he didn't want to be there. Anthony told Santa what he wanted for Christmas, an iPod touch and a drone. When he was finished, Father Christmas told him to just lay off the hamburgers and french fries. That sure put a lump of coal in Anthony's stocking. He cried until he went to bed, and he even tore up the picture he took with Santa. Mommy Ashley was livid and called the city to complain. Santa later visited their house to apologize, but Anthony says he didn't seem like he meant it. Even though Santa expressed his regret to her and the town supervisor, Anthony's mom still wants him gone. And it looks like the real Santa has granted her wish. After news of the incident went viral, the fat shaming Santa resigned. Anthony had a message for this bad Santa. I want to say to him, you don't want to disrespect a nine-year-old. Even though what shape and size you are, it doesn't matter. Preach it, Anthony, and Merry Christmas. Obese man fired for apparently farting too much at the office. We can all no doubt agree that excessive flatulence in the workplace is most certainly no bueno, but is it a fireable offense? Luann Clem, who claims her husband was let go last year by the Trenton, New Jersey company where they both work for for that very reason, doesn't think so. The 59-year-old says her 70-year-old hubby Richard simply couldn't avoid playing unceasing ass acoustics following a 2010 surgery. The 420-pounder reportedly underwent gastric bypass surgery that left him with extreme gas and uncontrollable diarrhea. And according to his wife, the symptoms only got worse when he got back to the office. The couple's colleague, sadly, according to Luan, failed to accommodate what she termed her husband's disability, and allegedly harassed and intimidated the pair before Richard was eventually fired last February. To top it all off, the company that Luan slapped a federal lawsuit with last month happens to be a pork roll manufacturer. Yup, as if the place didn't already stink badly enough. <laughs> 